And this can create, sir, for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're on board the USS Baton at uh, sailing into New York Harbor for Fleet Week, and we have a chance to talk with Commander Dave Carroll, who is a supply officer on the ship, uh, originally from uh, Massachusetts and Connecticut. Commander, good to see you. What's it like to uh, have all of us civilians on board? Uh, it's fantastic. It's our pleasure to host everyone on board. It's certainly a pleasure to get to New York for some great liberty. Have you been to a New York City uh, Fleet Week before? It's my first New York City Fleet Week. I've done New Orleans, Fort Lauderdale, but this will be the first time in New York City. Very good. Tell us a little bit about what uh, uh, the mission is of the USS Baton. So the USS Baton is a multi-purpose amphibious warship. Our job, I like to call us an aircraft carrier for the United States Marines. So we can deploy those Marines out of our well deck where they can take the shore. We can also provide close combat air support and uh, lift capacity from our flight deck. Uh, anytime we have to do a non-combatant evacuation, uh, an embassy evacuation, or any sort of amphibious operations. Very good. And tell us a little bit, uh, you, you were describing uh, how you joined uh, the Navy. Tell us a little bit about uh, why you decided to, to uh, join. Sure. Just as I was graduating college, I thought uh, everyone should serve four years for their country, and I needed to put my money where my mouth was. So I joined the service, uh, graduated uh, UMass Dartmouth, got my commission through Officer Candidate School around 2001, and I've been perpetually getting out since then until uh, I decided to become a company man because I love what I do. That's so I found a purpose in the Navy, and I certainly love my job as a logistician. What have been some of the stops along the way in your Navy career? That's interesting. Uh, so born and raised in New England, joined hoping to see some of the world, and my first stop was actually a submarine in Connecticut. Since then, I've zigzagged the country. So I've served in uh, Hawaii, I've served in Virginia, California, and uh, Georgia of all places where I did my initial training. What would you say is, have you had a highlight in your Navy career? Highlights, definitely anytime I'm at sea, uh, specifically the deployments. It's, uh, when you're part of something bigger than yourself, that's typically what gets you to stay in. Very good. And. Uh, what, you, what are you looking forward to when visiting New York and seeing your young sailors getting a chance to see the big city? That's probably the best part. So for the last year and a half, all these sailors, my team, have been involved in the maintenance and preservation of this ship. A lot of them joined to serve their country and spent the first year and a half in a shipyard, which can be really tough on them. So to pull into New York City and for them to see the Big Apple, get out there, get some great liberty, and see all the great hospitality I know uh, is, is ashore there is probably the most uh, exciting part I'm looking forward to. And we're also looking forward to showing our ship off to everyone from you. Absolutely. Great chance for the public to see their Navy and visit a uh, Navy ship. Commander Dave Carroll, spy officer here on U.S. Baton. Good to visit with you Thanks, and Ken. thank you for your service. Thanks, Ken. Good to see you. Ken Kratzer for SAL Radio on board USS Baton.